And now, your first alert five weather. Welcome back, everyone. Dry air in place, courtesy of this big dome of high pressure, and that's going to keep those temperatures chilly at night, but nice and warm during the day. Now, like, much like what we saw back on Sunday, highs today around 10 degrees above average. We'll keep it pretty similar Tuesday into the first part of our Wednesday. Then an approaching storm brings in wind from the mountains to the plains on Wednesday and some snow for the high country. Then we see our best chance of rain and snow showers east along I-25 in the eastern plains as you make our way into the day on Thursday. Let's talk about future casts for the rest of your afternoon. As I mentioned earlier in the newscast, clouds will continue to build, especially south of Highway 50. Even around 1, 2, 3 o'clock, the model shows maybe a few spotty showers. I think these are going to be fairly hit or miss in nature. Not expected to reach severe criteria, but could generate some gusty winds, as well as some rainfall, maybe some lightning as well. You can see some of that rain likely reaching areas into Los Animas and Baca counties, and then just after sunset. Most of that rain clears out of the forecast area with decreasing clouds on the way. We'll see those temperatures tonight drop back down to the 30s and 40s. How about the rest of your Monday though? Shaping up to be a fantastic looking start to the week. I know it's a little bit warm for some folks, but really it's tough to complain when we're talking about 70s and sunshine in the middle of October, right? Uh, Pueblo even warmer than the springs today, topping out near 80, but there is cooling down pretty nicely once we had past sunset this evening. So here is that big dome of high pressure that I was talking about. The big blue H on your weather map is going to sit across the region for the next few afternoons. As we look off to the west, this is developing area of low pressure that's yet to move on shore. As it does, it's going to bring in some big changes. The wind, the rain and the snow, also the possibility of some high fire danger because of all that wind on Wednesday afternoon. Let's time out the precip's arrival because this could impact some of your plans. Get a cold front that's generated that's going to move through the area as we head towards early Thursday morning. That's going to lower snow levels in the mountains. Northern Colorado probably gets more rain and snow than areas down south. And I really think locally, probably most of the showers we see would develop late Wednesday night into Thursday. And it looks like we could get maybe a rain snow mix for Monument, possibly a few inches of accumulation out towards parts of Teller County. Now, there's still some variables to consider since the storm hasn't moved on shore in terms of timing and amounts. Also, just how cold the air is behind that system. But I think by Friday night, once that system clears out, we could see lows in the springs down to the 20s for the first time this season. High today, nice and warm at 77, 80 for Pueblo, 81 La Junta, 79 in Canyon City. You can see across the Pikes Peak region, a mix of 60s and 70s today. And for Pueblo County in the Arkansas River Valley, a mix of 70s and lower 80s. So we stay in the 70s through Wednesday. And again, as that wind increases, you get the lowering humidity values. This could be a high fire danger day with gust up near 30. Look at Thursday and Friday's highs only in the 50s. Friday night that low down to 27 for Pueblo. I've got 80s through Wednesday, 60s with rain showers Thursday, dry skies Friday and a high of just 57. Canyon City, we've yet to see a freeze so far this season. We could see our first one Friday night before we get there. Highs up near 80 through Wednesday, cooling down late this week. Woodland Park I've got 60s through Wednesday with a rain snow mix as we head towards Thursday. We'll be back with more after the break. Stay with us.